So, this is the idea I've got, a snow globe. Big extreme one, it's not actually gonna be a snow globe, the actual globe is gonna be solid resin. So, my plan is, I have a piece of uh, a blank that I've already cut, well this was a bit of off pour that I had left over from the snowman, no sorry, the ghost I did. So I'm gonna use this as my um, snow effect, which is this bit in the middle here. And on this I'm gonna have a Christmas tree, and I've also got some little tiny um, railway miniature people that I'm going to put in inside here as well. Um, there won't be many, just maybe a couple. So then, obviously, that's all casting clear. But what I need to do is obviously cast this first. But what I need to do is I've got a base, and I want the base in three tiers. So I want black at the bottom. Then we're going to have a gold or a silver band. And then we're going to have this bit black. And then, obviously, the snow scene will be on top of that. And then the rest will be cast in clear. Several different stages. Um, I'm a little bit concerned whether I can pull it off or not. But if you don't try, you never know. And obviously, we don't want to be getting air um, with the tree. This is the tree I've got. It's only just a little model uh, tree. So um, we need to be getting all the air out of that, making sure we've got no air pockets holding in between the bristles that's going to be the fun part um, in the resin the clear resin i'm going to put some white glitter in it so hopefully it's going to look like snowflakes sort of glimmering down uh, to do the snow scene so that's the plan um, let's get a pot out and let's get the black for the base sorted out i need to make sure it's perfectly level because obviously I need to be able to glue that bit straight to a uh, waste block, which is gonna give me my securing for the whole piece. So um, yeah, we need to make sure that bit is perfectly level. So um, let's get a pot out, let's get some resin mixed up and move on, let's make a start. Because like I say, we've only got five weeks and uh, we're gonna have a lot of drying time here because this piece here is gonna take two or three days to dry because I'm going to be using the slow cure resin for that so uh, yeah let's go for it so uh, I'll move the camera and uh, we'll mix up some resin set up a pot level and go for it wish me luck so Turk, we're not going to need an upgrade deal I'm um, going to be using the dipsom uh, resin for this um, I've been using this this is an epoxy resin I've gone over to this rather than the um, polyester resin that I've been using. So, um, just a bit of a change really because um, obviously the epoxy resin is a better resin, it turns easier. I do find that you can't get such a good shine on it, but we'll, we'll find out with this. So, what I'm going to mix up is 150 grams. Uh, so, it's two to one. So, it'll be 100 grams of this, 50 grams of the hardener. And it's quite cool because it's been stuck in the back end of the workshop in the storeroom. So, uh, actually, I don't know. actually, let's do 150 of this. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Right, so we've got mixed, uh, mixed our part one and part two in. We're now going to add a bit of black colorant to make it all black so if I'm black right the back here so we'll put some black colour into this going to mix a little bit of pearl in it because I want a little bit of a glimmer to it as well. Make sure we've got no powder left in soluble or is in powder form. Now 
I've stood the piece, I've stood the, my tub onto a piece of wood and it's virtually perfect, perfectly level. So I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna put this in the pressure pot. It should be okay. As it generates enough heat, that should force the air to the top. As you can see now, with the heat of the resin, because it's obviously now starting to cure, so it's gonna gradually get warmer and warmer. Um, it's starting to push the air to the top. And because only a small pour, um, it shouldn't be a problem with the air. So like I say, it's only gonna be maybe 10 mil, 10, 15 mil thick if that. So that's why I wanna let it stand. That'll uh, bring the air to the top and we can pop the air. All right, so as you can see, we've got our first layer in. We'll let that dry overnight. As the air, I'll, I'll keep an eye on for the next 10 minutes or so, and as the air comes to the top, I'll just keep popping it with the heat gun. Um, what we'll do is let that dry overnight. Then tomorrow, I'll come and put a thin layer of silver over the top of it, which I'll obviously show you guys again. And then we'll do another layer of black, and then we'll be ready to put our clear on top of that. So uh, it's gonna be a slow process, but hopefully we'll get there and that'll be a good video in the end, or a good project in the end, if it works. Time will tell. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the morning. Just a quick little update. Just put the gold in there. Um, only put it, so it's perhaps 10 mil high, 10 mil thick. So we're gonna let that go off now. Um, I used some of this. Uh, it's like a gold liquid. My daughter's bought this for me for Christmas last year. And I uh, thought I'd give it a bit of a try. So there we go, it's in there. We'll let that set and we'll see how it comes out. So uh, let's leave it for another 12 hours and we can get the black over it. Try and get the black over it today as well. Then we can start building up our scene, ready to make the globe. So uh, we'll come back to it in a little bit. Another layer of uh, metallic black over that gold yesterday. Um, the time I went in last night it was dry enough, so I managed to stick another coat over to dry today. So in there we have the metallic black, gold, and then the metallic black on top. That, and now that's ready for our base. So that's our base um, all ready to take our clear. So next stage we need is to get this. Um, this is the blank that I had left over when I did the ghost. Um, as you can see, it's like a motley, pearly effect. This is what I'm gonna use to um, create my snow scene with the tree and the little fellas that I have. Um, I may not use all, I don't know I'm gonna use all of those, um, but we'll see how big we get this turn. They don't need to be massively huge because obviously that's nearly the size of that now, so we need to turn. I mean, that's nearly the size of that cup now, so it's miles too big. We perhaps only want it uh, maybe a third of the size of that. Because obviously we don't want it too big. Because if not, we ain't going to have enough space to turn our globe. So we'll get this on the lathe. Going to glue this to a waste block. Um, we'll leave it to dry. And then we'll get this turned down to some sort of shape. And we may have to do a bit of carving with the rotary tool to make it look like a sort of um, snowy looking but let's get that on the lathe and uh, see what we can do right I've glued this on with a bit of a five minute epoxy um, I was going to do it with super glue change my mind because I don't know if super glue would bond to the uh, the resin good enough to give me a good fix but what I'm gonna do is leave it a couple of hours to dry off properly because it's not very warm. It's only about 18 degrees in the workshop, so it's not very warm. So we'll let that dry off properly, then we'll come back and turn this down and uh, get our snow seed. It's gonna be a bit of a strange shape. I'm not 100% sure what shape I really want yet. It's gonna be a, bit, a little bit of uh, playing with it, see how it happens. This is polyester resin. So um, the stuff I'm using at the moment is epoxy. So I just hope that this doesn't react with the epoxy resin. Um, Perhaps I should do a bit of a trial before I set, actually set it in resin, but we'll see what happens. Um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So anyway, we let this dry, and then we'll come back and turn this down to the shape that we want and the size. So I need to turn this down now. Um, it's had about three hours to dry, so it's all nice and dry. I'm gonna leave it um, with the towel stock in until we get a rough size. So the actual um, pot is about 95 mil across, so we need to turn this down to round about 45, 50 mil, something like that. So I'm gonna get it turned down to size to start with. And then we will 
um, decide what shape we're going to have and go from there really. So uh, let's get turning. Right, see we've sort of got the button of shape now and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up a little bit and then part it off and I want nothing more than that because obviously I want it to um, sit in the uh, black and then um, obviously our clear will come over which will make our dome from so I'm just going to clean a little bit more of this off and then we'll uh, get that parted off and hopefully We'll have our uh, we'll have our base or our snow scene. That's... So there we go, nice little domey bit. We'll put a hole in there for our Christmas tree. I'm not gonna sand it or nothing, that's gonna be it. We'll put a little bit of a lip around it so that we can get our people to stand up on there. And what I've also done is I've put a little tiny nib in the middle. And the reason I've done that is because I'm gonna drill a hole in the center of our um, base that we've got, all the gray. And let's just make sure we can locate it in the center and make sure it doesn't move. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of resin up just to stick that down and then hopefully that'll stick in place but we'll get this over to the bench and uh, we'll get a hole drilled in the middle I should have drilled a hole in the middle there really before I uh, cut it off really but never mind get our Christmas tree in and then we'll get a couple of people around the outside and see what it looks like but there we go that is our snow scene it's a little bit transparent um, but hopefully that'll look alright once it's because uh, you're going to see it from the side so hopefully that'll look all right. Anyway, let's get this back over to the bench. Right, there we go. I've got a little so-called snow scene or snow mound glue to my piece. I needed to get that out to get a hole in the middle. Unfortunately, I broke my tub getting out, so um, that's no good. So we're gonna have to make a bit of a surround to go around that to hold that, but that's not a problem. So we're gonna let that dry. Um, I'm just gonna trim up around the tree just to tidy up a little bit. And then we're going to start getting our people on there, around there. Um, yeah. I'm not going to use all of them, I don't think. Too many. Obviously, I may use the snowman and a couple of the people, but other than that, um, don't need loads because there's only little. And uh, if I put too much on, it's going to look a bit OTT. So uh, we'll get the tweezers out and uh, we'll get some of those people stuck on. So I've done it so we've got a little bit of a snow scene, nothing major. 
So we've got two throwing snowballs, each have one building the snowman, and then we've got two sliding down the bank um, from underneath the Christmas tree. So I think that looks okay. Trying to keep it not too crowded, but enough obviously to keep us entertained. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mix up a little bit of resin and I'm just gonna coat um, these people with a little tiny piece of resin. Um, the reason being is I don't know if the color will fade if they're in the resin for a long period of time, where if I give them a little coat of resin, that'll just protect them a little bit. So hopefully, uh, and then what I'll do is I'll, do is I'll get a bit underneath this, because there's a little tiny gap underneath there. So if I get a little bit under there as well, that'll get rid of any air pockets now. So we can't, we don't generate air in our final cast. So then when we've done that, we then need to make a mould for it. So I'll find a piece of black or a bit of plastic for the bottom that we can fix it to. And then I've got some corrugated um, plastic that we use for covering floors that I can wrap around the outside and glue it together. And then hopefully we can get it poured with the clear. And like I said, I'm going to put some white glitter in the clear to try and create some... Uh, snowflakes so yeah like it it's looking good i really do like how it looks um i'm not the most artistic person but at the moment i'm liking the way it looks so uh, let's get some resin mixed up and get those touched in so i've got a little paintbrush with a little bit of resin up i'm just going to give these characters actually going to give the whole base a coat and hopefully what that'll do is that'll just stop any bleeding uh, when we come to soak the whole thing in resin. And like I said, there's a little bit of an air pocket underneath the um, base as well, so I want to force a bit under there so that soaks in and holds it down well. And hopefully this will just prevent any air pockets and any colour running when we come to actually soaking it in resin. Just finished the Sunday live and I thought I'd get this glued up and um, get it so we can start um, getting it ready to turn. So I'm just going to be using the hot melt glue or glue gun to glue this into place so we can get a nice tight, don't know if we're going to get watertight, um, sort of surround around it so we can get our clear resin poured to um, get ready for the next stage of um, making this snow globe. Um, I'm a bit concerned that this is not actually going to make it completely watertight, but unless we try, we're not going to find out. So I'm just going to make sure I get plenty of glue around it. I'm squaring it in the gap there and forcing it in the gap so it then should go up the side of the resin to stick to the resin and then I'll put another bead around the back of it to um, hopefully get it as watertight as we can get it or should we say resin tight and we all know that resin I'll find the smallest gap known to man to leak so uh, Here's hoping that it don't find it. So it hasn't got to be perfectly round because of um, obviously we're going to turn it anyway. So I have to turn a few mil off of it to get it round. That's not a major issue. But um, we'll see. Still toying with the idea whether I'm going to put um, glitter in it or not. 
to give it like a snowy effect. But the trouble is if I don't put glitter in it, it's not really gonna be a snow globe, is it? So um, I'm not 100% sure what to do. I think I'm gonna do a couple of trials before I actually put the glitter in one to make sure that the glitter doesn't sink to the bottom and it stays um, suspended actually in the resin. So I'm gonna do a couple of trials before I actually commit to doing it perfect. So uh, we'll get this, like I say, we'll get this glued up. And then I think it's stopped up. And hopefully we can uh, Stuff's so sticky, it's unreal. Shouldn't complain really, because it does stick, but it's not very good when you put your finger on it. So I'm gonna glue this up, and I'll come back to you guys when we've got it all glued up, ready to pour our resin.